This is the BBT speaking with Barbara Waldinger, and she's teaching a course with Berkshire Alley. The course is Greenwich Village, 1913, Suffrage, Labor, and the New Woman. So, Barbara, welcome to the program. Thank it's great you. to have you. Great to be here. So, tell me about this uh, course and why, you know, the, the specific area is Greenwich Village. You know, we, we know about that area. It's yes. you know, a special place, you know, through the years and, and how it's had... Uh, a big it's been a big centerpiece for cultural change and so forth but um, but tell me about this you know I think I should tell you about reacting to the past Let's which do is that. where this comes from let's do that right um, one day years ago there was a history professor at Barnard named Mark Carnes who is the founder of this whole thing uh, and he was teaching Athens he was teaching Greek history and the kids were snoring uh, and he thought <laughs> I got to do something I got to wake them up so he came up with a game where the students play roles of people who lived at that time and figured out the future of Athens after the Peloponnesian War. So it was Athens 403 BC. Mm. And starting with that, college professors from all over the country, uh, which is going on right now, who are experts in certain fields, come up with these games. They write them. There's a committee which is very strict about how the games go, how they should be written, what should be in them. And if it passes muster, the games eventually get published and are used by colleges across the country. Mm. So we have dozens of names and I this is my fourth for Ali I've taught many more of them hmm. but we started out with Athens 403 BC we went to Galileo versus the Catholic Church we then fought the French Revolution and now we're up to Greenwich Village hmm. so again in this game students are given roles the teacher does not stand in the front of the class and speak the teacher sits in the back so a totally different concept totally different idea. Uh, compared to what you would think is traditional education. That's you right. have an instructor, uh, right. lecturer uh, in front of a group of you know, 30, 50, 100 people, whatever it may be. That's right. Maybe some questions and answers if you're lucky, but that's, that's, right. that's old school. This is totally different. This so totally role playing, different. how does someone get assigned a role and what, what are these roles? The roles are given out uh, on the first day of the, of the class. And for Greenwich Village, right, there are what we call, well, all of them have factions. Mm. Uh, because Greenwich Village deals with suffrage and labor and the new woman, bohemian women, mm. um, there are factions in all these areas. So for the suffrage, and these are very well researched, so they're all real people. So for the suffrage faction, we have Jeannie Rogers, Maud Preston, and Alice Hallam, all people who fought for the cause. For the labor faction, we have Big Bill Haywood, Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, and Leah Schwartz. Again, these are all <laughs> women who fought. Those are some great characters. <laughs> I mean, the names themselves are just are, are already fantastic. And so. I want to read you some of the... So there are these factions. Yes. They fight against each other. Okay. Right. But then there are what's called indeterminates. These are the many different characters who are not assigned to a faction, and mm -hmm. they have to decide which faction to join. This is, uh, so we're in 1913, we're before the war, and it is, it, uh, there are issues of um, women's suffrage and labor mm -hmm. that are very prominent at this time. Mm -hmm. And this game asks you to join one of the factions to decide which issue should get, uh, should um, be, um, should be looked at by Congress and lead to, mm -hmm. let's say, amendments uh, mm -hmm. about uh, people who are, you know, child labor, for mm -hmm. example, people who, like Triangle Factory Fire, people who get hurt mm -hmm. at work. Shouldn't we pass laws to protect these people? Right. But on the other hand, shouldn't we pass laws like an amendment to have women vote? So these two factions are fighting against each other. So why, so why are they fighting against each other? Because Congress can, you know, well, uh. like today, <laughs> they can't handle too many Fast things at once, right? Fast forward today, only one thing at a time, so if, if we're lucky time, today. That's right. right. So in, right. in a particular session of Congress, what's, what's more urgent? What should pass first? Mm. And that's what this game sets up, even though that really wasn't the problem because there were many other issues too. Mm. But this game focuses on these two issues. So there are many indeterminates who are not really assigned to any faction, but they are people who were at that time representing different causes. And we have loads of them. For example, we have 
W.E.B. Du Bois, who deals with issues of racism. Uh, we have Charlotte Perkins Gilman, the, the feminist writer. We have Susan Glassbell, the playwright. Um, we have John Reed, who they made a film about called Reds, and we would be seeing segments of that during the class. Um, they have Margaret Sanger, with the, health, the health clinic person. So there are so many people who lived at that time and stood for so many different things and fought. Mm -hmm. And these are the indeterminates. They will decide which faction to throw their weight behind. And so tell me about in these courses that you've taught in the past mm -hmm. of different you know, time periods yes. of these different generations and critical moments in history. Uh, what has the reaction been from your students? Uh, you know, right. I, I, I'm assuming that there's some a lot of energy, excitement. Yes. Certainly, is different. Maybe you know, it takes people some time to adjust because they're used to the old way. Right. Uh, but but tell me about that. First, I taught in college. I taught a lot of these courses at Queens College. Mm -hmm. So and uh, I have also taught it in high school. Uh, there was um, at Queens they had a high school science summer program and I taught Galileo versus the Catholic Church and then I taught all the other courses at Queens uh, on the college level students don't know what to make of this they <laughs> walk in and <laughs> well what do I do you know yeah, what's yeah. what's the course um, and gradually they learn and same thing here at Ali they learn that this is um, you have to do more here than in, a, in the usual course because you can't sit back People are up there debating from the beginning to the end. And if you don't know the material, you, you don't make any sense. Mm. Um, so we'll stop it right there and we'll okay. continue our conversation with Barbara Waldinger about not only the role playing, but actually the content within it, you know, about uh, labor, suffrage, and the new woman. Uh, we'll continue the conversation right after this.